In today's video, I will be showing you how to get ultra low graphics by using Fortnite in game settings, Nvidia Inspector settings, and the best tool to boost FPS and fix stutter. In Fortnite Season R, it will help you to boost FPS and fix most of the lags and stutters on any PC and laptops. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button for more content. Let's dive into the video. Gear Up Booster is one of the best program for the optimization of your ping while you play games using your wired or wireless connection. So get this paid program free from my description and play your game with lower ping. Go to the website and download the provided pack. I give link in the description and optimize gaming performance and FPS. Now you can see after it's been extracted, we can now open the application itself. Just double click on NVIDIA Profile Inspector, and then to actually customize any game of your choice, you want to go up to V Profiles right here. Click on it, and there will be a drop down, and just simply type in any game of your choosing. So mine's obviously gonna be Fortnite, so I'm gonna click that right then select it. After you've done that, we're gonna go ahead and scroll down to where it says Free and Aliasin. And the first set and where you're gonna modify is the Anti-Alias and Transparency Super Sampling. We'll want to change it from B and off slash multi sampling to be an on A. I set N with a Z roar X. And then a ton of Z roars A at 8. And then replay more at all. You want to click this setting right here after that. You want to make sure that you've clicked off it. And then you can scroll down just under it where it has for text default red. And then you'll see a setting right here called driver controlled load bias. And by default it's turned on. You want to go ahead and turn this off again. Click off and then just underneath it, we're gonna change the LOD bias D, X from V default E plus C roar, 2 plus 3, and we're gonna do that again with the one below it, which is M or GL. We're gonna change that from plus C roar to plus. Air free like source, both of them are matching like that and then, the final thing we're gonna do is click on texture, filter in where it says quality, and change it from the default quality, to high quality, like so after that, you can go ahead and click on the apply changes button. At the top right, next you want to go into the video settings of whichever game of your choosing, and just make sure that they've been optimized. So literally set them all to the lowest um settings possible to get the most performance. So on Fortnite, for example, um, I'm gonna choose the performance low. Graphical fidelity mode right here. At all these settings like brightness and stuff, all personal preference. Same with colorblind mode, motion blur, and stuff like that. You want disabled, turned off but when it comes to be graphics quality, where it says high and all that stuff. You want to set it all the way to low. It's really important. A 3D resolution. Oh my god. That's super important. As for shadows. You want them off. Reflections. View distance as well. I put that to the nearest one. Textures law. Effects law. Push processing law or off. And then all the rest are pretty much. Personal preference. At the bottom. And be sure to do this for. Any game that you're wanting to go to. Ultralograph. After that you want to optimize the game config of whichever game of your choosing. Once inside here, you want to just slowly scroll through and make sure that this has been fully optimized. High so ensure. All these sort of like settings or quality settings are on zero. And if you're on any higher than zero, just put them to zero. And we want the most FPS possible for this optimization. And no for volt skillability groups. It looks like all of these are on zero. Sometimes a few of them will be on like two which equals medium or three, which equals high. And you want to just put them to zero if any standout. And mine is looking really good, which is nice. Now go to home control by running it and as administrator and follow me. This opens up in a command prompt and it offers you a ton of optimizations. So let's begin with the first one. What you need to do is simply press the button on your keyboard corresponding to the titles. So first one will start with the optimization. So I'll press one on my keyboard and it will give me all of these options. Now what do I need to do is enable the power plan. So click on one, press enter, and now it will optimize the power plan. The next thing that you need to do is enable the CSR, double S high priority. So you need to press three and press enter. Now already done and you also need to apply the MSI mode. So press five, press enter, and that will optimize the MSI mode. You also need to optimize the W30 to priority separation. That is the Windows 30 to priority separation. So press 7. Press enter. And over here you need to select it 28 hex. So simply press on 2. And that should do it automatically. Next thing is the mouse fix. Soon to press 9 and press enter. And that will ask you to the current display scaling percentage. Now most you guys of will be using 100% display scaling. So simply press 100 over here and press enter. And over here you need to press N, cause we're gonna restart our PC later. And then simply click on enter, and that will optimize your mouse fix. Next thing press N and go to the second page. And over here you need to optimize the PCP IP, so press 1 and enter. And then simply type in, I understand. 
and then simply click on enter and that will optimize your disk VIP. Next thing is the optimize net assets. You need to press 3 and press enter and then you need to press 9. Disable mitigations, press enter and then you need to press 10 for the cleaner. And that is going to remove all of the adverse. Empty recycle bin and unused devices from your PC. So simply press enter and that should do all of it. Once it is done, simply press B for back. And then over here, press 6 for advanced settings. And over here, you need to press 10 for deciding BCD edit. As well as press 11. Disable USB power setting that will improvise your import legacy, as well as Bing and packet loss in the game. Reboot your computer to apply changes and improve gaming FPS and performance.